Hello, this video tutorial is going to cover the SQL insert into statement. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my test database using SQL authentication. I'll start a new query and switch over to the correct database. So the SQL insert uh, statement is a very common uh, SQL command that's used and its main purpose is to insert a new row or rows into your database. Let's take a look at what the typical statement may look like. So you have some keywords insert into. Um, these are required. The next uh, word that you'll put in is the name of the table. And then in its most basic form, it's followed by another keyword called values. Then you start the values that you want to enter into your database by enclosing them in parentheses and if these are string values by uh, separating them uh, by commas and enclosing them with single quotes. Before we insert a SQL uh, insert uh, statement, let's first take a look at the, um, the table called customers uh, that we'll be inserting information into. As you can see this has an ID field which is a primary key uh, followed by a few string fields uh, cust name, address, city, state, and zip code. Um, the way that I've set this up is for this, you know, these testing purposes. The primary key is uh, does not accept null values and is already set to um, identity increment, which means that I actually don't have to place a value into the insert um, com uh, insert statement. Um, the table will automatically uh, increment to the next available uh, integer. The rest of the fields um, allowing nulls. Um, and again, this may or may not uh, be appropriate for a production deployment of an application, but for uh, testing purposes, this will work fine. Okay, let's go ahead and insert some data. Here you'll notice, again, I have the insert into keywords. Uh, customers is my table. Uh, then values is a keyword, and these keywords are denoted by this uh, blue uh, font color. And I'm going to go ahead and be inserting customer name, address, city, state, and zip. And again, just as a reminder, since my ID is an integer uh, for the primary key, and it's already set to identity uh, increment, I don't I don't need to um, specify the value. Um, it'll just increment to the next available uh, integer. So if I want to run this command, I go ahead and hit execute, and you'll see that one row is affected. Another way that we can use the insert uh, into com uh, statement is to specify the actual fields that we want data to be uh, inserted. Um, we're not required, especially if we're, we allow no values, to insert in every single um, field or column. So in this example, I'm going to be inserting data into the customers table, uh, but I'm only going to um, insert into the cust name and state uh, fields and their values are denoted by these two strings. Now you'll notice that state even though it's highlighted in, in blue um, uh, SQL, SQL Studio picks it up as a keyword um, it's actually being used as a column. If you want to make sure or make 100% sure that you're referencing columns you can put the um, fields within brackets and that tells SQL that this is an actual um, uh, field. So go ahead and we're going to go ahead and run this one. Since there's two commands here, I, I highlight the one that I want to run, and again, one row affected. If we want to go ahead and take a look at our table to see what has been inserted, I can just use the select command. I'll just take a look at all the fields. Use from keyword customers. Let's highlight that and let's hit execute. And again, as you noticed, if you notice here, um, using this statement here, we inserted information with regard to Joe Smith, and that's uh, ID number 6. The next statement, which only inserted data into two fields, um, is seen down here in row 7, Matthew Young and uh, the state Texas. Since I didn't specify the other fields um, in my statement, uh, and the fact that I allow no values, uh, SQL accepted that. 
if my table did not allow for no values, then SQL would have generated an error indicating that um, no values are not allowed. Um, so again, um, the insert into, again, it's a very common statement used in SQL. Um, these two examples, while very simple, are the most common examples. Uh, however, um, in other uh, video tutorials, we'll show how to manipulate the insert into and use more complex uh, um, statements. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.